What's up you guys, it's Steve here with your unemployment update. We've got some unemployment news regarding that $300 per week unemployment extension. As as of this morning, there were officially 21 states that had announced they were gonna be putting an end prematurely to that $300 per week FPUC federal unemployment boost. But just moments ago, we had some new news that another state is proposing ending it early as well, putting us at a total of 22 states that have announced they're gonna be putting an early end to this benefit. So in today's video, I'm gonna get you caught up on all of these states and when exactly each and every one of these states are saying they're gonna be ending this benefit. So I'm gonna dive into an article that just came out, get you caught up on the latest as of today, May 18th, 2021. But before we dive in, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like these updates, hit the like button, leave your comments, share this out. Also hit the subscribe button if this is your first time here. Follow me on Instagram at steveram3 and let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first we're gonna dive into this article that just came out yesterday. It's gonna give us a little bit of context about what's unfolding and then it's gonna be sharing with us the list of the 21 states and when specifically each and every single one is gonna be ending this benefit so that way you know. And then stick around to the end because I'm gonna be unveiling the 22nd state that just came out this morning and said they're likely gonna be added to this list. So link in the description below to these articles if you'd like to check them out for yourself. And this says these 21 states are ending $300 unemployment benefits this summer. And it says a growing number of GOP-led states are planning to end supplemental unemployment benefits designed to help out the out-of-work Americans weather the pandemic, a move that they say will help businesses that are struggling to hire employees. And it says right now there's at least 21 of these states that are going to be ending early. Right now it's currently set to expire September 6th, but these states are saying June, July, that's going to be the end. Now, the new measure comes in light of the Labor Department April payroll report, which revealed that the economy added only 266,000 jobs, sharply missing the 1 million that was forecasted. Now, there currently remains about 8.2 million fewer jobs than there were back in February of 2020 before the pandemic hit. But here's a quote that we have that says, it has become clear to me that we cannot have a full economic recovery until we get thousands of available jobs in our state filled, said the governor of Mississippi. And we're hearing that there are other governors that share this same viewpoint, 22 exactly in total. Now, President Joe Biden and the Democrats, they disagree with this notion that Americans are choosing extra unemployment over going back to work. President Joe Biden said, we don't see much evidence of this. Americans want to work. But even though he has taken the stance that he will, quote, not turn his back on his fellow Americans, what we're hearing is that he is going to be enforcing unemployment laws to make sure that nobody is gaming the system. And we heard him say this, we're going to make it clear to anyone collecting unemployment who is offered a suitable job that they must take the job or lose their unemployment benefits. So what they're saying is, even though they do not support ending the unemployment extension early, they are suggesting that people need to get back out into the workforce, and if they do not, they will lose their unemployment benefits. So now, let's go ahead and dive into the list. I'm gonna cover all the states and their end dates for you. Now, I'm just gonna be reading off the states and their end dates. If you wanna get more specific details, feel free to pause the video and you can go ahead and read this or go to the link in the description below as some states are gonna be ending the $300 per week boost and ending the PUA and the PEUC depending on the state. But once again, I'm just gonna go through the current end dates for each and every state. So the first one is Alabama and it says, Governor Kay Ivey announced on Monday that the state will be cutting off the $300 per week benefit on June 19th. Arizona, it says Governor Doug Ducey on Wednesday announced that Arizona will no longer participate in the $300 per week boost for unemployment aid beginning July 10th. Alaska said that they're gonna be ending their participation on June 12th. Arkansas said they're gonna be ending the supplemental unemployment program on June 26th. Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp said Thursday that Georgia will end the state's participation in the unemployment program on June 26th. Idaho said beginning June 19th, Idaho will stop participating in the federal unemployment programs. Indiana said starting June 19th, out of work Americans living in Indiana will no longer be able to receive their federal boosts for unemployment benefits. Iowa, the supplemental unemployment benefit will end in Iowa on June 12th. Mississippi, Governor Reeves announced Monday that Mississippi will start stop participating in the unemployment aid program on June 12th. Missouri, Governor Parson said Tuesday that Missouri will drop out of the federal unemployment program on June 12th. 
Montana said they're going to be putting an end to their benefits on June 27th. North Dakota said that they're going to be putting an end to their benefits on Monday. They said the state will withdraw from federal unemployment benefits programs on June 19th. Ohio, Ohio will stop participating in the federal unemployment program on June 26th. Oklahoma, Oklahoma Governor Stitt announced Monday that the boost to unemployment benefits will end on June 26th. South Carolina, Governor McMaster said last week before the April jobs report was released that the state would stop participating in federal unemployment program effective June 30th. South Dakota, it says the governor announced Wednesday that North Dakota will end the federal benefits on June 26th. And it says North Dakota, but on here the title says South Dakota. Tennessee, Governor Bill Lee announced Tuesday that the federal unemployment benefits would end on July 3rd. Texas, Governor Abbott said Monday that Texas would stop offering the expanded federal unemployment benefits to the unemployed on June 26th. Utah. Utah is dropping out of federal unemployment aid programs on June 26th. West Virginia. Governor Jim Justice announced Friday that all federally funded pandemic unemployment benefits will end in West Virginia on June 19th. Wyoming. Governor Gordon said Wednesday that the state was ending the federal unemployment benefit programs on June 19th. So that is the current list of 21. Now let's take a look at an article that just came out today letting us know of the 22nd state that is likely going to be added to the list here very soon. And this morning the state of Wisconsin announced that they're going to be looking at putting an end to this as well. Now this is currently just a proposal but here's a link to an article that just came out a little while ago that says Wisconsin Republicans propose ending $300 per week federal unemployment benefit and other programs. And it says, Republican lawmakers are proposing ending the supplemental federal unemployment benefits in Wisconsin, arguing that it is contributing to a worker shortage in the state. So right now, this is currently a proposal, but if they have this on the table, as we're seeing other states do this, it is very likely they could be added to the list here very soon. Now, as more information comes out, I'll be sure to keep you up to date, but currently, those are the 21 official states plus the potential 22nd as well. But once again, like I said, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel as more news rolls out. And also, keep an eye out for those crypto updates as right now, we are seeing a huge decline in the cryptocurrency market, which is presenting a huge buying opportunity. I don't think by any means this is the end of the crypto run. I think we're just experiencing a bottom. This could be a huge buying opportunity to make a lot of money. And then it's going to shoot back up here once again shortly. But like I said, I'll keep you up to date on that. Be sure to keep an eye out for those videos. I've been doing it daily, keeping you up to date on crypto. And once again, you guys, if you made it this far and you like and appreciate these updates, don't forget to smash that like button, leave your comments, Share this out on social media platforms. Consider joining the Ram Fam. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram if you have any specific questions at Steve Ram3. Consider joining the Patreon group to get exclusive access to me and any crypto trades that I'm doing. And you guys, I hope this reaches you well. I'll be sure to catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.